dear students now we are going to discuss planck's hypothesis so planck's has given the idea for the radiation that means for the law of heat radiation for the law of heat radiation actually in previous video we have discussed about the black body radiation we have discussed about the black body radiation okay so when we heat the material when we heat the black body it emits the radiation that radiation is clearly explained by planck's okay so the name of the scientist is max planck max planck in the year that means during 19th century during 19th century he introduced a revolutionary hypothesis which is known as the planck's hypothesis so what he explained he explained the law of heat radiation he explained the law of heat radiation so how the he radiation will comes out when we heat the black Uh, black body material so that he explained it through four points okay so let us discuss one by one what are the points so first actually uh, in the previous video we have discussed the black body will absorbs all kind of radiations okay it absorbs all kind of radiations and the same black body is heated that time it emits the radiation it emits the radiation okay so this two things already we have discussed in the previous video that means it absorbs all kind of radiation when it is heated it emits the radiation okay so how it emits in which form it emits that only he explained okay so let us go to the topic now so uh, this black's uh, planck's theory is based on the following assumptions okay four assumptions he made four assumptions he may let us discuss one by one what is the first assumption actually the black body already we come uh, we discussed you know the black body consists of large number of oscillating particles for example so this is the black body it consists of large number of particles that particles are not simply at rest which is oscillating okay so the black body consists of oscillating particles consist of oscillating particles if it is oscillating means definitely it will be associated with the frequency so the part oscillating particles are having are oscillating with a characteristic frequency characteristic frequency so this is the first assumption he made so what he is trying to say the black body is nothing but it it consists of large number of oscillating particles and which are oscillating with characteristic frequency frequency is nothing but number of cycles per second number of cycles per second okay so this is the first point and the second point what he tries to say is this uh, black body emits the radiation it emits the radiation so that radiation listen carefully it emits the radiation so this radiation is also having the same frequency okay the oscillator which emits radiation which has the same frequency of the oscillating particle which has the same frequency of the oscillating same frequency of the oscillating particle same frequency of the oscillating particle or oscillators okay either oscillating particles or oscillators see this is the frequency of the oscillating particle means the emission which is coming out that will be also the same frequency so this is the second assumption he made okay so the black body which emits radiation which has the same frequency of the oscillating particle so both will have the same frequency okay and the third assumption what he made is the radiation which is emitted in the form of packets of energy packets of energy or bundles of energy packets or bundles of energy okay so generally what we will think the emission will be in the form of continuous wave we think we expect that the emission will be in the form of continuous wave but what uh, planks uh, trying to say is it's not continuous energy it is by means of packets of energy like this it is coming like this okay instead of continuous wave it is like a 
part that means bundles of energy so each dot represents the bundle of energy okay bundle of energy so that is named it as photons what is mean by photons packets of energy or bundles of energy so here i introduced the term photons what is mean by photon okay let me explain this for example if you take any material it consists of the are atoms okay so if you divide this at first material is divided into atoms the atom further divided into subatomic particles for example uh, electrons protons neutrons like that subatomic particles this is for the material right this is for the material same thing if for radiation that is for light if you divide the light okay if you divide the light into smaller thing okay that time we will get the photons okay so if we want to divide the light further it produce that means it creates the photons so photon is nothing but packets of energy packets of energy so what he tries to say is the energy which is radiated will be in the form of packets of energy or bundles of energy instead of continuous waves so like that it will emits okay that is named it as photons so now all the photons associated with radiation a frequency new okay so the photons will have the radi will have the radiation of frequency new okay so that the energy of the radiation energy of the radiation is nothing but h into new okay h into new so the energy of the radiation is equal to h into new so new is the frequency and h is the planck's constant so h is the planck's constant h is the planck's constant now i am going to give the value for this planck's constant now you see h is the planck's constant planck's constant its value is 6.626 into 10 to the power of minus 34 joule second Joule second. So E is equal to H nu. I mentioned. What is this? E is the energy of the radiation or energy of the photon. E is H times of the frequency. H times of the frequency. So this part only he introduced. Okay, this is the revolutionary hypothesis he mentioned. That is, light is emitted not in the form of continuous waves. It is in the form of photons. It is in the form of photons. Okay. So by using this only, he tried to explain. in the law of heat radiation right so this is the third point and the fourth point what he said not only the emission in the form of photons either the material absorbs that also the e is equal to nh nu only what he is trying to say the oscillator the oscillator either absorbs or emits okay both during both the time either absorbs or emit the radiation of energy which is the multiple of h nu that is e is equal to n h nu e is equal to n h nu where n is equal to 1 2 3 and so on which is nothing but quantum number what is n here quantum number okay so these are the four points he tried to explain as the planck's hypothesis okay so by using this four hypothesis only four points four assumptions only we are going to discuss the next topic that is planck's radiation formula how the radiation takes place okay that part we are going to discuss by using this hypothesis only so once again i will repeat what are the four assumptions he made okay so first assumption is the black body which emits the radiation right so this black body consists of large number of oscillating particles large number of oscillating particles the particles are not at rest it is always oscillating with a certain frequency oscillating with a certain frequency first point and the next point this particles only going to emit the radiation that radiation is also having the same frequency of the oscillator same frequency of the oscillator or oscillating particles okay and the third point is the radiations which are emitting is not in the form of continuous waves which is in the form of packets of energy or bundles of energy which is termed it as photons 
which is termed it as photons. So now this photon, what is the energy of the radiation? E is equal to H nu. So H is the Planck's constant. Already I have given the value for this. That is 6.626 into 10 to the power of minus 34 joule second. And the next step what he is saying is the oscillator either absorbs or emit. It will be in the form of E is equal to NH nu. Okay. So for example, if the black body absorbs the radiation means that is also in the form of photons. Emission also will be in the form of photons only. That is what the Planck's hypothesis. Okay. I hope you understand the concept clearly. So go through this. If you have any doubt, you can ask in the comment box. So thank you everyone.